Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. I pray in the name of Jesus that you all had a sweet sleep on last night and that you're up and ready to give God your first fruit and to receive his first fruit and kingdom assignment for your life on today. In the name of Jesus, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that your eyes, your ears, your heart, and your character hallelujah is fully awakened on this morning that you may receive hallelujah what god has for us on today welcome holy spirit good morning we thank you for being here we welcome you here we welcome you in every area of our life on today thank you for guiding us teaching us hallelujah equipping us loving us strengthening us Hallelujah, encouraging us in the name of Jesus, carrying us, hallelujah, depositing your love into us and manifesting into our lives as though you may, hallelujah, that we may need you on today in the mighty name of Jesus. Guys, welcome to Commanding Your Morning, hallelujah, day 305. Hallelujah, glory to your name, God. Our thought for today is power versus authority. Power versus authority in the name of Jesus. Glory to your name, God. Hallelujah. Behold, I give you the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Our scripture is Luke 10 and 19. Again, our scripture for today is 10 and 19 in chapter Luke. Okay, so let's go into the word for this morning. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to start at 17 and read down, okay, guys? And the 70 returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. And he said unto them, I behold, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Thank you, Jesus. Behold, I give unto you power to, the, to tread on serpents, scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Hallelujah. You see how he did that transformation? He took the power, hallelujah, he zapped it, hallelujah, from the enemy. And he given us power and authority over the enemy, knowing that he may walk around roaring like a lion and trying to deceive and, you know, dismay and just, you know, make people so unsure of themselves in this world. But God has given us the power over him, over his imps, over his ants, over his devils and spirits. Hallelujah. God said we can tread over them. Hallelujah. We have the authority and the power to do so because he has endowed us with it. So what we do with it, the knowledge and the king and the and the the treasure we have just learned here is up to us. Are we going to apply it to our lives and walk it out? It's a finished work, guys. God has just given us the nuggets we need to be able to walk out what he has already finished for us. It's done. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, God. And we need God to be able to do it. He's our source. He's just like that. Um, the plug that you put into a socket. We need to stay in tune, stay connected to God throughout our walk of our lives in the name of Jesus. There is nothing or no one in any way means will hurt us. His word tells us that. We have to learn to believe the word of God. We are so quick to believe any and everything in this world, but we, when it comes to God's word, it just seems like we just so disconnected to believe what God says about us and who he say we are and who he is and who the devil is. We must learn not to just read the word, 
but be the word, do the word, understand the word, endow with the word, comprehend the word, meditate on the word, hallelujah, become one with God's word in the name of Jesus. Let's go a little further on into commanding our morning. Power versus authority. One of the things we need to realize is that authority and power are different things. Though, though we often use them, hallelujah, interchangeably, the power is in the government or kingdom that backs the individual. But authority is invested in the individual as a representative of the government or kingdom. When kingdoms clash, the military with the superior training and, equip and equipment, the one with the most, hallelujah, sophisticated, arsenal and weaponry will be the one to engage as the ruling power. Ooh, Jesus. Our kingdom, the kingdom of heaven, has not only the power, but also the authority to rule. Glory to your name, God. Do you understand who we serve and do you understand who you are? Do you understand that you are an ambassador in God? Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. And you rule, hallelujah, through Jesus Christ on this earth. Hallelujah. The what he says, not what we say. And we get big headed and, and arrogant and do things and say things the way we want to say it. But we need to stay forever connected with God so that his kingdom can come on earth as it is in heaven. In Jesus' name, let's pray, guys. I decree and declare that I have authority to rule as your ambassador on earth. By that authority, I command everything the enemy has swallowed up to be released. Every miracle, every blessing, every opportunity must be released now. In the name of Jesus, by you, God, I run through troops. By you, I leap over walls into new realms of power and authority. I live in the realm of unlimited possibilities. I will not, hallelujah, cower. Instead, I establish my superior authority by the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. God bless you all. Have a blessed day.